Hello and welcome to another Visible Thread video guide. Today we'll show you how you can check the key subfactors mentioned in Section M are addressed in your proposal. We'll cross-reference the proposal against the solicitation to ensure compliance and also secondly responsiveness. Okay, let's get started. Okay, Invisible Thread as usual, the left-hand panel contains folders and files. My very first step is to create a new folder that will contain the documents I want to upload and analyze. Let's assume that our proposal is an RFP for NASA, so we call it NASA RFP. Once the folder is created, I'm going to upload some files. In this case, I click on the upload in the top left. I click add on the bottom left of this dialog box. I go to the location on my hard drive where the files exist, in this case a SAO, Statement of Work, Performance Work Statement, PWS, the RFP itself, which is a rather large document, 120 pages, and for the sake of this demonstration I'll also upload the response. Four documents, and here we go. Okay, all done. Next I hit the close key on the bottom right. And now we see a view where the selected document, the last uploaded document, the response, is on the left, with tabs each reflecting a certain perspective on that doc. The tab I'm interested in is called Concept Tracking. I'll go ahead and click that. When you click the Concept Tracking tab, you see what we call a dictionary. In this case, the dictionary is called Fit Affinity 2. It's the default. This lists the number of keywords that we're interested in. Now, in this case, the dictionary I want to use is a different one. So to change the dictionary, I click on Run Different Scan, which is the button above the list. I get a list of dictionaries that I can choose. In this case, the one that I'll use is called Prop Validation Systems IT. It's a dictionary designed to make sure that we cover out our win strategies and our compliance considerations. Once the dictionary runs, we now are analyzing this document based on a different set of keywords. I'll just sort by frequency because this will help me identify gaps in the output. Let me explain the middle view. Here, this dictionary or concept list is categorized into an area called Section M, Critical Items. And there you've got user training, user account support, and so forth. And there's checks around standards and awards, as well as certain technical items that we want to make sure are covered in the response. Immediately, I can see from this dictionary that user account support is not mentioned at all in the response. Here we have gray text with no number to the right, indicating no reference. So I'll go ahead and log a comment or concern on that document. If I was a proposal manager, I would likely be in pink team review stage, logging this concern. So I'm going to say no reference to user account support in our response. And this is a major issue because we know that NASA is very sensitive to this. I'll log it with a categorization, which I'll call Red Team Review. And these categorizations or types can be customized to suit. The second item I can see very clearly here is that user training is hit six times. And I'm a little concerned that it's light. In other words, I don't feel that we've referenced user training enough in our response. So here I see on the right-hand side a breakdown of the proposal showing that user training is not encountered until quite late in the document. This is the sectional breakdown of that document. I hoped it would be an exact summary, and therefore I've got a second major concern. I should also point out that the bottom grid gives you the exact extract from the document where your selected term or phrase occurs, allowing you to make a better and more informed judgment. Okay, you might be wondering where the list is defined that appears in this middle pane. Well, let me just show you one way in which we can modify this list. We do it in this area, and the button is called New Concept, 
So I'll go ahead and click on that button. Let's assume that we spotted in the RFP the need for archive data policy. We must address the need to provide an archive data policy. So what I do is I type in archive data policy. I add it into the section M critical items area by selecting that. Click on OK and then I've modified my dictionary. And now we see that archive data policy is not showing up anywhere in our proposal. Yet another gap. Up to now, we've been focusing on one document, our proposal. We identified some gaps. We noted some comments and discussions. But so far, we haven't addressed how this compares with our solicitation. That's easily done in Visible Thread. If you go to the left-hand side, click on the folder view, and then click on Concept Tracking, you will see quite a similar view to what we saw a moment ago, except this time, the dictionary on the left here is now cross-cutting into each document. And that is really, really important because you now get a sense for how our response, the document on the right of this grid, compares against each of the issuing side documents. Here's why user account support is so important to reference because it's mentioned in the SAO. Here's why archive data policy is so important, because it's mentioned in the RFP itself. So you begin to identify gaps across our documents. If we scroll down, we'll see quite a few gaps occurring. Configuration management was referenced in the PWS, the SAO, the RFP, but nowhere in our response. So therefore, this view shows you a more macro level perspective of how the solicitation compares against the proposal. Okay, we've covered quite a bit of ground in this uh, demo. Let me recap. We started by uploading solicitations and proposal documents into a newly created folder. We then clicked concept tracking tab. We ran a scan with a selected dictionary. We identified gaps and we logged some comments. And finally, at folder level, we saw how the solicitation can be compared against the response. For more videos, check out our demos page online at visiblethread.com. Thank you so much.